out the door. Working on getting everything ready. It's time to go. Um, it's roughly eight o'clock in the morning. Here, I know we have a long, long day ahead of us, so I'm trying to get it in my head that this is a marathon, Justin, not a sprint, and you really need to pace yourself, which means drinking a lot of water, get some nice stretching in if you can ahead of time. Really, really uh, thankful and grateful to, for one, Key Biscayne Bay for hosting. You guys are awesome. I try to make it over to Key Biscayne once every month. They have what are called series racing, and um, it's only $10. The coach up there, Maru and Pedro, and all of those guys are phenomenal. Um, and, and we just come over and we're just so grateful to them for, for letting us do that. Um, and, and not to mention, it's Key Biscayne Bay in Miami. It's freaking beautiful. The water is crystal clear. Um, it's usually always gorgeous from a weather standpoint, sunny with wind. Um, and we're surrounded by Miami's uh, kind of the city, if you will. You've got Brickell and then downtown and then, uh, you know, all the way around, which is really cool. Also, what's really cool that I don't think people talk about as much or, or think about, but when we usually race in these series race regattas, there's about four or five different clubs that are all around Biscayne Bay, and they all kind of go to their respective clubs, and then we meet in the middle of Biscayne Bay, and then we race for two days. So it's such a just cool dynamic. Go talk to Maru and Pedro. Those guys know what they're doing. Um, and they do and I see them at all the regattas too with their team and they they coach all the kids and I mean some of these kids are gonna be freaking Olympians one day um, so it's really impressive to sail with them and they kick my butt every time I don't I don't even try to compete with them my biggest worry is that I'm going to you know do something to prevent their chances from succeeding right like get in the way or not you know tack on a when they had right of way or whatever so I'm just trying to stay out of the way and have a good time and, and kind of learn and grow and watch as much as I can so uh, essentially we're uh, out on the water for the next uh, four days this is a long regatta Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Thursday is not supposed to be very windy Friday, Saturday, and Sunday progressively get more windier as we go, not by much. Check out kind of the race line. I'm gonna see 
try to measure out my distances and then I'm gonna try to make a move in tune and get all everything ready to go. So right now they have all the radials out here and I'm gonna try to stay out of their way because they're gonna be starting and racing, so. We are out here, uh, the radials are about to start. I just wanted to give you kind of a, a glimpse into, into how this process works. They just hit the one minute. Uh, so they're all up on the line. They're all getting ready to start. Pretty cool bunch of race uh, boats and committee boats. But here we go. I get, we're at about seconds. And there they go. Final horn. And they're off. Very cool. So radials were such a big fleet this year that they had to break it up into two different fleets uh, within the radial fleet. I think it's gold and red or something. So um, the gold already started, I think, and those are kind of uh, the faster of the fleets. But And now it uh, looks like the red's starting. It's always tricky to try to figure out if you're going to start on the pin end or if you're going to start starboard end. So, Honestly, that was a, a weird little, quick little race. Got out there, managed to kick butt, got under, uh, got around that mark and started. Beyond that, I'm gonna have to check my calendar. Good, because it's gonna be filled. So I would hit the windward mark and he'd be going around the reach mark. Are you through? No. So every single leg, I would catch just like a little bit more ground on him. So that's another one right now. And then uh, we did another windward and then uh, downwind. You want another one? Yes. And, and then, and I just, well, I didn't have enough time and, and space to, to catch him, but I tried. I'll tell you that. It's beautiful. Not even close, but good. You got one more right there. Hey, good morning, you guys. We're, I'm at here at Key Biscayne Bay. Actually, it's just Biscayne Bay Marriott, uh, but check this view out, guys. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Sun's just cresting over the top. I mean, but, wow. Essentially another, what, like 10 hours on the water, uh, but we gotta, we gotta fight through it. We really gotta push hard and make sure that we're doing everything we can to bring home the gold, baby. Bringing home the gold. <laughs> Yeah, right. We're just going to try to finish the race and not last. How about that? Okay, great. I'll see you guys out there. All right, bye. One over the Biscayne Bridge. All right, you guys. It is 7 a.m. We are here. Pretty dope because you can see uh, Miami right across the bay, which is so cool. Oh, this is kind of a crappy angle, but see right over the boat. Oh, just a beautiful morning. Crisp glass water. I mean, even at the dock, it's pretty clear. Different. I think they went on two different waiting lists. Um, luckily, I was on a, like a, a WhatsApp messaging group and they shot out kind of like a communication to us saying, hey, it's open, go sign up for it, which is always appreciated. So this is where we're launching from, so they stack them all here.
check them out. There's the uh, Mark Set bots. They're the ones that are controlled essentially by what looks to be a little trawler motor. What are these things? Oh, wow. So it is, it is. It's a trawler motor hooked up to a battery system that's uh, supposedly sealed tight with all the connections. And then they remotely, wirelessly control the Minn Kota power drive. And then they just drive them out there. How cool is that? What a great idea. Shout out to Mark Set Bot. Doing all right. Love the innovation. I don't know how long these have been out. I'm sure a while, but uh, they are. That's this is pretty cool. And they've got four here. I'm sure they're not cheap. Maybe I can put the price in the corner. <laughs> I'm sure it saves a lot of hassle as well. A lot of opties out here. Um, this is actually what I grew up sailing. Same thing. And look at all those. Oh my gosh, they have a huge opti fleet here, which is really cool. A bunch more lasers over there, and I don't think. They have anybody set up over there. They have that cordoned off. So, which uh, usually that's where we go when we come on the weekends. We'll go park over there, but they've got everyone over here. So, so here we go, you guys. Beautiful morning. Get ready. Who is this? Who's tripped over this thing? It's crazy. Oh, someone left their sail out. It's never good. Do not be good. Left my sail out for sure. Look at the bar area. Beautiful pool. I mean, look at this place. It's gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous. Look at this. They come down here, this little race lane. And there's a bunch more over here that kind of trickle down into that right lane and then they kind of fall off here. So, I mean, the accessibility is awesome. They've really set it up for easy to get in and out. A bunch of volunteers that are amazing. Look at this skyline. This is killer. Let's go check out the uh, race committee slash coach boats. They have them lined up. I think as part of registration for these regattas, they have to pay, I don't know, it's like 50 bucks or something for for a coach boat out here, which is kind of cool because if you're a parent and you want to bring your kids and you want to have them take part in this stuff, you, you know, it's it's one of those things you're going to have to pay, but it's, it's a good, good kind of incentive to get everyone organized and know who's who out on the water. They, they, they signify them with the blue flags right and then they know who's out there who can help um but i mean i can't tell you how, how many times i've been out there and it's kind of just everyone all hands on deck everyone helping everyone um, and i hope to do the same for my kids i'm gonna hope hopefully when parker's only getting up there he's four so hopefully i don't know three more years maybe All right, sweet. They're in good shape. What do you guys think? Look, looks good. And we're gonna have a, a good day out here. As you wait to the hotel, uh, they hooked it up, gave us an upgrade. Uh, essentially, we were only supposed to have a just one king bed, and they gave us an entire house. Got two freaking balconies, which is pretty cool. Overlook some tennis courts down there. In the back, you got the stadium way over there. I don't know if you can see that. Right. 
then you've got the bathroom, and then you've got the balcony. Super good. I'll be here it's crazy alone. windy. Just wanted to get this on film. I'll be the, in the bar as long as you like. Pro Marriott. And no matter really, really nice facility. To get a Ever chance, check it out. Something one of the cheapest they just right opened, so it's, uh, it's a little more, uh, you know, right achievable. Uh, but just gorgeous downtown, right this game bay, right over here. You. Next, I'll be right there beside you.